Watch this. Here's how it works. They print it, we borrow it, and we pay them in. This is a private company. Privately held. They cannot get, they have to pay for postage stamps. They are that far away from the federal government. This is an independent corporation and group of bankers. So when you hear the news say, the Fed decided that the interest rate will go up, how do, how do they get to decide? They get to decide because in 1913, Woodrow Wilson, he was elected, he was inaugurated in January of 1913. In December of 1913, he signed the Federal Reserve Act, bringing the Federal Reserve System into place in America and did what Thomas Jefferson said must never happen. He took the control of the money away from the people by taking it away from the Congress and gave it to a group of private individuals who have to pay taxes on the money they loaned the government. Here's how it works. Here's how it works. Let's say the government, which always needs money, because it always spends more than it is able to collect in taxes. So the federal government needs a billion dollars. Since they gave away their ability to create the money, they have to go to the creators. The creators of the money, according to the legislation passed in 1913, incidentally, the Federal Reserve Board has been in operation in this country since 1913. They have never been audited one time. Do you see that we've been taken captive? That's all I'm trying to... My whole point, somebody asked me, Pastor, why are you sharing that? My whole point is to let you know you're in bondage and don't know it. You're serving two masters and you don't know it. They are using you and you don't know it. So since they, the, the government needs a billion dollars, since they can't create the money, because in 1913 they gave that responsibility and they gave that authority to the Federal Reserve. They have to go to, our government has to go to the Federal Reserve and ask them for the billion dollars. Well, since the Federal Reserve is a private corporation, they're not about ready to just give their money away. So they say to the government, we will loan you the billion dollars for your agreement to pay it back with interest. But now wait a minute. The government doesn't have the ability to create the money. The Federal Reserve creates the money. So the Federal Reserve through legislation in Congress, not that they control it, but for the actual printing of the money. That's the only thing we have the ability to do. Congress tells the Treasury Department, the Fed will loan us a billion dollars, print a billion dollars in U.S. Treasury bonds. So for a thousand dollars, they print a billion dollars of bills, of bonds. Those bonds are given to the Federal Reserve, a billion dollars. Now the Federal Reserve in bonds plus interest. The Federal Reserve then gives the bonds to the government to pay its bills. But watch me, because you're not thinking. 
the government needed a billion dollars. They borrowed a billion dollars. But the Federal Reserve said, we'll loan you the billion dollars plus interest. But it only prints the billion dollars. So the interest payments are never created and put into the system. So how is the government ever going to pay them back? They didn't have the billion dollars to begin with. If they didn't have the billion, then they didn't have the billion plus interest. So they get given the billion, but they can't pay the interest because the interest money was never created and put in the system. That's how it's growing a billion, six million dollars a day. We can't pay the interest. The money is not in the system. But what about you? Oh, it gets worse than that. It gets worse than that. Let's take that billion dollars. Legislation has been created that the Federal Reserve, having that $1 billion of treasury bonds sitting in its belly at interest, can lend, as a result of having that $1 billion, they can lend $15 billion. Wait. Paper money. Credit. No, no, there's no substance, there's nothing back to it, but they can come to you and say, we will loan you 15 billion on credit because we have 1 billion that we created and had the government give back to us. Now we can loan 15 billion. That 15 billion plus the one is 16 billion dollars in that one transaction, of which there are thousands. That one trans transaction where they've got 16 billion dollars out there that people are paying them in interest that in reality the money doesn't even exist. But what does exist is your money that they take and they take and they take, and they take, and they take. And we wonder why bankruptcies were more in the first three months of 2003 than in the history of this country. Is there a reason for that? Yes, it's called credit. It's called debt. How many of you agree that's awful and that shouldn't be? They shouldn't be able to, you know, put in a billion dollars and take out the billion plus the interest money because more is being taken out of the system than is put in the system, keeping the people enslaved to the tune of seven trillion dollars in national debt alone. That doesn't include state debt. That doesn't include municipality debt. It doesn't include personal debt. That's just the federal debt. That's just what we borrowed from the Federal Reserve that we can't pay back. Are, are you ready? How many of you agree that's awful? Okay, what about you? Let's see. You can never get out of debt in a usury system with a built-in shortage of money.